everybody. Today we're going to make a fun little project. I have some glass jars and this is not the right kind of paint but it's the paint that I got so we're using it. And I used some contact paper and made hearts and we're going to peel the back off. Maybe. Alright, peel the back off the heart. Stick it on the jar. Whoa! I don't want it crooked. Stick it on the jar. Okay. We're going to take our white paint and highlight around the heart. Ooh, I got it on me. That doesn't surprise me. I'm a messy painter. Then we're going to take some red paint. Once again, I know that this is not the right kind of paint to do this job, but it's going to work. I mean, it's this is not for This is for fun and um, stuff like that, not professional. All right. I'm going to accent around the heart with red, and then as the red kind of mixes with the white, it's going to make pink. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to make some puppy chow and put some Valentine's M&Ms in it. And then these are going to go in the blessing boxes. See? Alright, now we're going to see if we can carefully take the heart sticker off. It says we should wait till it dries. That might be a good idea. Good thing I have Anna. So, we'll be back. All right, there it is, all pretty. So we're gonna peel off the sticker part. So cute. Ta-da! I put some Valentine's M&Ms in there. So cute. All right, so we're making our blessing box jars that we're going to fill with puppy chow. So, I... Yes, Anna gets to eat some of the puppy chow. So, I have clear contact paper, not clear, white contact paper. I cut a heart, just like you learned how to do back in elementary school. Fold it in half, cut the heart. I did trim it till I got a heart that I really liked. That's a long time ago for you. You're pretty old. Yep, I am pretty old. And so, I'm going to stick it on my glass jar that I'm recycling. I believe this is an old Lipton instant tea jar, believe it or not. That's how old this jar is. So why are you getting rid of it? <laughs> so why am I getting rid of it? Well, because I have a lot of jars and don't need every jar that I own. Um, plus it has a pretty blue lid, so it'll be kind of cool. Alright, so in here I have some paint. I, I, this is the wrong paint. You probably want, this is like an oily based paint, but it's what I have. So that's what we're using. I have white paint on this side, so and I get a lot of white paint on there, and then I'm just going to go around the edge of the heart. There was some red in my brush from earlier. I probably should have got a different brush, but we'll just make this work. I am not a perfectionist. I think that handcrafted stuff 
should naturally come with flaws. That's just my personal opinion. Because nobody's perfect. I'm perfect. <laughs> Be awesome. You are definitely perfectly awesome. All right, so I want these lines to kind of extend up because I'm going to, once it's all dry, since it's going to be close to Valentine's Day and not everybody has a sweetheart, I'm going to have it say Jesus and then there'll be the heart and then, then you. And then inside will be the um, trail mix, or not trail mix, puppy chow, puppy chow. And um, we're going to put some of, like, the Valentine's M&M's in it. So it'll have the red and white M&M's in it. So even though it's upside down, there's your heart. Then in my container, it's actually a medicine jar lid, but whatever, is my red paint. I'm going to dip that in there. Get some on my paintbrush. It's hard for you guys to see that. And because I don't want red red I'm gonna put that right there in the center but and then I just brush it out and it makes pink because it's you know pink white and red makes pink and I I like this look of different shades of pink and red and whatnot now if you want it like more precise you could make sure you do exact colors that's totally up to you I like this look. All right, so it's all painted and dried. I'm gonna take the sticker off. So cute. I made some puppy chow. Add a little puppy chow. And then for fun, we'll add some Valentine's Day M&M's. Top it off with some puppy chow. Valentine's fun. So this is just a spaghetti jar and uh, contact paper. I cut a heart just like you would back in elementary school. Fold it in half, cut it out. I trimmed it until I got a shape that I kind of liked. I'm just going to stick it here kind of on the center. And press it down really good because of the, um, the spaghetti jars have that measurings on it and you don't want your paint to get underneath it. Alright, so I've done another a jar before. So I have Red, white and red paint. Oh, Anna reminded me. I should grab a different brush. Okay. And I'm using cheap paint brushes. Alright, so I'm getting some white paint. Quite a bit on there. And just s s paint it out from your heart. Now, I... I mean, everybody's different. Everybody likes the look of something different. I like this kind of like streak. Whoops. Good thing my helper's over there. My streaky look. If you want yours to be really like precise, you can paint the whole jar. You could spray paint it. Um, I'm not even going to try to get into all these little grooves that are there. I don't know if you guys can see them now. Let's see if I focus. Oh, yeah, you guys can see them. I'm not, I'm not even worried about that. But I do want some of my streaks to go all the way around my jar like this. See, so I'm going all the way onto the side a little bit. All right, and then I use the same white tooth paintbrush. I dip it in the red. And throw it around and make a mess. And then um, I dab it in the center. Don't have to. But I like to get a little, get it mixed around a little bit. And then I want this to be very noticeable. So I started in the center of the top of the heart. 
and then just keep working it out and you can add more red less red it gives you different colors I like this streaky like look everybody has their own opinions all right I think that one I like and then we're gonna let it dry and we'll show you what happens oh did I not record that oh no it's recording all right here they are dry we're gonna peel off the sticker this one's coming off in pieces but that's all right look at that so cute Now we're gonna fill it with some puppy chow. And since this is a store-bought in container, my funnel doesn't fit in these. <gasps> I figured that was gonna happen. All right, so we're gonna try to be super careful. But the funnel will definitely make it easier. And we're gonna sprinkle in some Valentine's M&Ms for fun. Top it off. A little shake. Toss on the lid. Isn't that cute? 